Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lutra FM. Um, this one is going to be a little bit different. So I'm starting a new save once a week on a Sunday, um, TW 2020, and I've decided to manage Ring of Honor. Um, I just want to do something different to my other saves that I'm doing, either a football manager or TW. So I thought I'd go with TW because I'm already doing two saves for football manager. I thought I'd just do another save. I was going to do AEW, but I felt like that would be too easy, too quickly, and I would get bored. Um, with Ring of Honor, they have got some good talents there, but they have, like, it's also, I've also got grounds to work on as well. Um, I am, I'm not the owner of Ring of Honor in this save. I'm the booker. So Tony Khan is my boss. And um, I think that's, I'm, I decided to be Adam Ryland, the person who created TW. So he is a user character on this particular database I'm using, which is the Who87 database for people who play TW. It's the same, it's the same person that made the database that I'm using for my Fight Club Pro save. So if it's not broke, you know, don't fix it, as they say. So yes, yeah, so I'm using that database and hopefully it will work out well. Um, it'll be trial and error as usual. Now, obviously, I will take on board some of the things I've learned by playing the Fight Club Pro save. So I might do better in this save than I did in the Fight Club Pro save. Um, but I'm excited to see how it goes. The roster is quite small, um, but I will show you that afterwards. But I just wanted to let you know that, like I said, once a week, I'll be doing a TW 2020 save with Ring of Honor. And hopefully the same people who like the Fight Club Pro save will enjoy this Ring of Honor save. It's not replacing the Fight Club Pro save, it's just adding to it. Um, I get, I, 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 tr I try and release a video every day for people, so whether it's Football Manager or TW content, that's what I try and do. Anyway, don't panic, like I said, it's not replacing the Fight Club Pro. The Fight Club Pro save will continue. Uh, yeah, right, I'll be back in a minute with the first part of the episode, sorry. Right, so here's a overview of the Ring of Honor. So if we go to the roster first, and what I'll do is um, we'll put role, wrestler, we'll go female first, so let's have a look at the female roster. So as you can tell, we haven't got loads, but we have got some decent workers. Obviously, we've got Athena, um, but we've got some decent like, ones as well. We've got uh, Mercedes Martinez, um, Nyla Rose, Ty Valkyrie, uh, Willow Nightingale, and then we've obviously got other ones like Trisha Dora, Red Velvet. So it's like a nice, nice mixture of good talents. Um, we've got Lady Frost as well. I'm a bit of a fan of her. I think she's really good. Kira Hogan's decent. Diam a Diamante as well. It also it also depends on how the database has got them as well. So we might I might think they're really good, but the database might not. Um, announcers, we've got. We'll leave it as the usual three there. We've got nothing to worry about. So let's have a good tag teams. We've got Aussie Open. I think Mark, Mark apparently on this database, Mark Davis is an injured. We've got FTR, Gates of Des uh, Gates of Agony, sorry. I call them Gates of Destiny on my bloody Fight Club Pro save. I swear it was Gate uh, Gates of Destiny. Anyway, we've got the boys. Uh we got the infantry, the Lucha Bros, and we've got the work horsemen. So again, a mixture of really good tag teams. And then some undercard tag teams to work with. Uh, if we look at the titles, for some reason on here, we've got no titles. Why is that? Uh, let's have a look. Active. Any status. Okay. So, for some reason, we haven't got any tag titles. So, I need to create them. I'll do that offline in a minute. Um, yeah, but that's a bit weird. Broadcasting. So, we are with Triller TV in America. And on a club as well. We'll look to try and expand on that. I'll do that offline as well. I'll also look at the uh, see which wrestlers are available to bring in to improve what we already have. Let's have a look at the creative. No franchise players. No next big things. Hot prospects. We've got Cole Carter, Bronson, Blake Christian, Sean Dean, and Bishop Khan. Uh, best people on the mic: Don Castle, Prince Nana, and Stokely Hathaway. Best workers in the ring, Don Castle, Vincent, Tony Deppen, Anthony Henry, and Trisha Dora. Ring generals, Tony Deppen, Vincent, Don Castle, J.D. Drake, Trisha Dora. Uh, and let's have a look at Hidden Gems. 
So hidden gems, we've got Chris Dickinson, Michael Elgin. I won't be bringing in Michael Elgin for uh, reasons like why nobody else has him on there anymore. I used to actually really rate him, but he's uh, he's a bit of a weirdo, isn't he? Uh, Fred, it, Fred uh, Yee, I can never pronounce his name. Amy Rose, Camilla Khan, uh, Kane. So that's the little intro for this. When I'll, when I'll be back in a minute, I will basically show you who we brought in and we'll do our first show, which is Ring of Honor Wrestling in three days. Hopefully I'll have some new wrestlers in by that point. Um, I will have some titles as well. I don't understand why we haven't got any titles, but yeah. So yeah, just bear with us one second. Right, we're back. Um, I have signed some female wrestlers. Um, I'm just sorting this out now. Um, and then I'll tell you all about it. I basically recorded part of a video, but um, going through the roster, but it was so long winded and I thought quite boring as well. Um, so I've deleted it, but when I deleted, I got to this point. So I've, this is the first show I'm booking. I signed, pardon me, I signed quite a few res, women's wrestlers. Now, in the next episode, I will have time offline to go through and sign male wrestlers as well. But basically, I've signed quite a lot of AEW women's wrestlers that were available on because they're on written contracts. Um, so I signed them, including potentially Mercedes Monet. Um, not that I'm going to be using them very often. I want to create my own stars. Um, so like so, for instance, Abaddon. I managed to sign Gulia on a written contract. She is with Marigold on this database. Um, but you've got Trisha Dora as well, who's highly rated on this database by the looks of it. So I've signed quite a few. So this 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 episode, this show here that I'm booking now is basically going to be very women orientated because I have signed a hell of a lot and I want to see who can work and who can't. Um, but yeah, I've signed, like I said, um, Millie McKenzie. I've signed Izzy Marino, Marino um, who was obviously the super fan who's actually now a wrestler. Um, she was Bailey's super fan when Bailey was first doing well in NXT. She's, um, I mean, I feel old now that she's actually 17 or 18 years old and she's on the game. So I signed her up um, and she's, like I said, she's doing well on the indie scene. Um, it won't be long before AEW or WWE sign her up. I'm, I'm assuming she'll go to WWE. I mean, a dream is to probably tag up with Bailey or, or face Bailey or something in a WrestleMania match. So I signed her. Billy Starks wasn't in at Ring of Honor at the time on this day. I just want to start this over. So I've signed her as well. Izzy's only 17 on the game. Billy Starks is 19. Uh, Millie McKenzie's, th I think she's like 22. So it's it's about creating the stars of the future now at Ring of Honor. Um, I realized also the reason why I didn't have any Ring of Honor titles is because they're all with AEW. So it's I had to create, I've had to slightly change the names, but I have created some um, where they are titles. So I've got the six man title, the tag team titles. I've obviously, um, because a, I haven't got at the moment, I haven't got, the current Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, which is Matt Taven and um, um, Mike Bennett. So I've put them on FTR for now. Um, TV Champion, uh, I know Atlantis Jr. is the champion at the moment, but he's not on this roster, so I've just put on Kyle. Um, Women's Heavyweight Champion is Athena. TV Champion is vacant, but I'm going to change that to Billy Starks. So Billy Starks will be the TV champion. I'll try and make it as current as possible. And then obviously the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion is Mark Briscoe. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so that's updated you where I've got. I tried to do it as quick as possible. But um, I'm doing some pre-show matches to see how the women do. And we've got 20 minutes left. So I'm going to do another 10-woman, um, 10 10 sorry, women's match. We're going to put some on here as well. So we'll put probably... Billy Starks in there, Anna J, Angelina Love, um, uh, Charlotte, is it Charlotte, Renegade, Charlie Evans, Charlie Morgan. I think some of these I tried in the other match and they and they said it was the match was too long for them, so we'll see. Cheerleader Melissa, CJ Perry. Diona, Diona, Diona Perosa, I can't pronounce names today. Um, Haley James, so we'll do that. We'll have that as a pre-show match. Uh, let's see if it lets us 
warning TV title. Oh yeah, so what we'll do, we'll put the TV title on the line. And then we'll have Billy Stark to win it so she can make her first successful defence of her title, which is good. We'll have that as a pre-show. Uh, there you go. So that's all the women's matches done. So then now we've got a... Um, we've got 30 minutes of post-show as well, so we might... I think what I'm, No, I'll leave the post-show. So we've got an hour to do a show now. So what I'm going to do is just... I'm not going to do a 10-way. I'm going to do like a six-way women's match. And uh, what we'll do is we'll have Athena defend her women's title against Chris Statlander, Emi Sakura, Ivy Lease, uh, Jetta. We'll give Jetta a try, see how she gets on. And who else? We've got probably other women's wrestlers here that are good. Um... Mayu, Mayu Yamashita. There we go. So we'll put Ring of Honor women's title on the line. Athena can successfully retain her title. That's that done. Um, it's it's saying we don't need to do angles, so I'm absolutely buzzing right now because I hate doing angles for um, my Fight Club Pro save. It's so boring. I just I just prefer doing matches. What we'll do is we'll do another women's match, but we'll put it just be below the heavy the women's heavyweight title match. So what we'll do is Lisa, oh the ODB Lisa. So we'll do some of the legends. Amy is Amy Dumas. I did sign. I did try and I have tried to sign um, Lita, but she's not coming at the moment. So we'll do Melina. We'll see if any of the old the old guard the old women can do it. The older ladies, as I say. We'll see if they're any good. Um, uh, it's just, I'm just trying to find another... We'll put Serena in there. She's not old, old, like, compared to the others, but... She'd probably be good in there. We'll do that. Put that one... No, no, wrong way. Uh, oh, that's fine. It's, it's done it automatically. So it basically, you start when you do the main show. You start with the main event, and then you work your way down. So it probably probably makes it easier. Ah, oh, we do have to bloody. Oh no, we don't have to be penalised. The show is around eighty five percent matches currently are night and not be penalised. So actually, I do have to do bloody angles. Got me hopes up there, thinking I didn't have to do any angles. Right, within forty minutes, we've got fifty five to sixty five minutes left. So we do another. We'll do another women's match. We'll do it 15 minutes. And then we've probably got enough time to do a five minute angle just to keep them happy. If we scroll down here, we got Willow. Um, let's have a look. Stephanie Vacroix. Oh, we'll do Steph the leader as well. Steph the Vacroix. Sky Blue. Uh, Sarita. And then, who else? Who else with Rio? There you go. Be 15 minutes. And then what we'll do is, that's the first, oh, that's the opening match. So, the 95% still says we won't be penalised if we don't do any angles. So, I assume we, we were all good. But in fact, I could probably change that. I could change that to 20 minutes. And then, what I could do is change this to... The original 18 minutes it wanted me to do. Ah, here you go. Booking analysis. Would we be penalised for not having any matches that were aimed at steal the show? Okay, that's fine. So what we'll do here, we'll do steal the show for this one. Oh, I've gone too far. It's here. No, no. Steal the show. And then open match. All that match. And then they want a technical masterclass, as they say. Technical. There you go. We'll do that one. Right, so they're happy now. So I've got to have a steal the show match and a technical masterclass. Um, they're not happy about all these ones have been overused, but let's just see how we get on and we'll learn as we go along with this product. Um, Vita Von Star suffered a broken scapula so 
right in a pre-show match that had terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd it that's this is not a good start uh winter defeated the rest of them i'm not going to announce all the names take me too long who was the best one out of yeah vita von star is not very good um Tanil's okay su young is okay winter's okay how did millie do is millie in this match yeah she's in this match only 38 she's not rated very highly on here so that's not the best to start uh this one was this match was slightly better 39 who won billy starks obviously re yeah she retained a title um billy starks only a 21 rating which is not good charlie evans and charlie morgan did well chile to miss melissa did quite well the diana peruso was the stand-up performer 52 and that's about it really charlotte renegade was rubbish angelina love was okay Anna J wasn't very good. Billy Stark's very disappointed. Maybe I'm going to have to take the title off here, I think. Right, and then in this one, we had Ariel Monroe. Um, she won. Luckily, these are all pre-show matches, so it doesn't affect it too much. Um, 32 rating. Let's see who was the best performer. Alison K, 42. Uh, Hamada, 41. And then Amber Nova, 38. Julia, 38. Abaddon is not very good, though. Um, and then in this one, Rio defeated the rest of them, got a 30 rating. Willow with just a 32, which is sad because she's one of the best women's workers in the world. Um, so Rio 32, Rio with a 43. Sky Blue was really off the game. Stokely Hathaway didn't have... Right, so, the, so the, maybe the road agent? We need to get better road agents. Right. Madison Rain. Um, won in the six woman match that we have got a 42 rating and madison rain got a 46 rating serena deep with a 51 so they were the stand up performers the the older women wrestlers didn't do that well but they were okay and then in the main event athena retained a title got a 37 rating uh, unfortunately yamashita suffered an underclosed neck injury athena with a 44 uh, Sakura, uh, Sakura, Sakura, Ami Sakura, uh, got 48, and then Ivy Lee's 41, uh, the rest weren't really worth mentioning. Jetta, unfortunately, is not rated as good on this database as the others. Right, so we need to get better road agents in for definite. So I'll do that offline. But, um, yeah, 291 people, we've increased our popularity in nine regions, and we've got a 37 rating overall. So, we're not going to get like the standout performances like I have done in my Fight Club Pro save. I think we just got to look for little positives here and there and build slowly. We didn't have any of the men's wrestlers on here. I think if we had the men's wrestlers on here a bit, it would have upped the rating a bit. But at the moment, I want to try and figure out who's good and not good with the women's wrestlers, sort the women's division out, and then work my way through to get the men's division sorted. I want to have a good tag team roster as well, men's and women's if I can. Um, I want a good TV title division as well. I want Carl Fletcher to have a good reign as that. I want him to go against some of the best, make him a better wrestler. So I have got certain things in my head that I want to do, but as people know from how I book, usually sometimes that doesn't work out. Um, Britt Baker, Mandy Rose, uh, Ruby Soho and Soraya uh, are all coming in. We've also potentially got Amy Dumas, Cassie Lee, Jamie Hayter, Mercedes Monet. Mickey James, Ronda Rousey, and Tony Storm coming in. So the women's wrestler, the women's roster will get better. Um, we just gotta wait a bit. But yeah, a few injuries in the first show as well, which is not the best of starts, really. Let's have a look at medical. So we can't we can't give them any surgery. Uh Yamashit is out for 21 days. Ruby Soho, we can't do anything with at the moment because she's on maternity leave, and so is Ty Mello. They are out for 10 to one uh, 10 months and nine months. And then Vita Von Stars with a broken scapula um, out for five months, three weeks. So there you go. All right. Uh, Lufisto, not happy she wasn't on the last show. I know she's not happy that we signed Ruby Soho because they don't get on in real life for some reason. All right. Let's have a quick look at the backstage. I want to try and uh, make this a little bit better. Masseuse is provided. Hotels are organized. Mm, no, we we'll, we won't put the no dress, uh, no alcohol. Chiropractor is provided. Hotels are paid for. Um, 
will go, transport is organised, caterers provided, transport is paid for. So hopefully that will help. There we go, 100% now. So Ivy Lease and Thunder Rosa don't get on, Lefista and Ruby Soho don't get on, and Yamashita and Jetta have some tension. Uh, Brian Cage, uh, Kira Hogan, Lefista and Revolvet have mildly negative influences. So overall it's not too bad. Creative, any different? No. Right then, what I'll do then is I'll be back in a set with the next show. Right, we're back. And um, what I'm going to do is do this one show and then call it a day for this episode. But then next Sunday, so every Sunday I'm going to be doing a episode of TW 2020 with Ring of Honor. Um, so yeah, so basically what we'll do is next Sunday we'll be more focused. I'll have... Um, all my roster, how I want it to be, and then we can just crack on, just do show after show, find out who the best workers are, push them to the moon, and try and get the young wrestlers over as well in the process, really. So let's just have a look at the backstage instance. We've managed to get Daniel Bryan as a road agent, but also a wrestler. But like I said, he's not going to wrestle very often in uh, Ring of Honor because it's more about putting over the young stars. Um, I don't see the point in Devon passing on tips to, um, who was it? It was another road agent. Oh, Prince Nana. He's not a wrestler. I mean, he used to be, but he's not now. Pretty pointless passing on his psychology to Prince Nana. But anyway, we digress. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do another 10-way pre-show women's match because there's still women's wrestlers that haven't wrestled yet so we'll go female um we'll, we'll start at the bottom i can't remember who hasn't wrestled and has wrestled for us now actually tony storm i know i know i won't put tony storm in that one actually keep her for a proper match so we've done teal i think have we maybe we haven't teal um vert vixen was the two i remember from booking the last one that couldn't do 18 minutes uh some of Kai I don't think she's wrestled for us yet but I could be wrong uh Shazza Mackenzie Shauna Reed not Shauna Dean Shauna Reed Shauna Reed uh so I so these are the, the, I don't know I can't remember how you pronounce her name so Lisa Sparks uh, Soraya Knight, Soraya, and then Santana, uh, and then we'll put Selena in there. So I have that as a 15 minute pre show match, and then we'll do another one. As I said, we've got quite a big women's roster, so we just need to. Heard out the weak from the strong. Figure out who's going to actually be good and who's not. Sadie Gibbs. Uh, Ronda Rousey hasn't, but I'm going to put her in a match later. Robin Reynolds. Uh, Rekka. Tahaka. Red Velvet. Reevee oh, Hardy. Rachel Ellerin. Uh, Queen Amanita, Amanita, Penelope, Paige Van Zant, and ODB. Right, so that won't be a pre show match. And then we've got enough time to do one more, so we'll do another one. Why the hell not? So we'll go female. We'll go exclude already booked. Uh, let's have a look through these first. <clears throat> Sorry. Croaky voice. We're going Nicole. No, not Nick. Nicole Matthews. Momo. Yam uh, Wamanatabi. We've done. Um, so with Amina. Millie. I think we've already done Millie actually. Mickey James. Um, we won't do Mercedes Monet. We'll keep her for another one. 
we got Melina, we got my Segura, my Segura, Maserati, Matty Impaler, Martina. Right, there we go. Right, so that's that. So that's the free show booked. So now what we're gonna do is we'll have um I've gone the wrong way. Sorry, gone the wrong way. All right. We'll do a seven way singles match. We'll do Athena, Ronda Rousey. Mercedes, Mar Monet, not Martinez. Just to give them their debut, we're not going to be doing, we're not going to be having Mercedes or Tony Storm or Ronda Rousey. Oh, well, Ronda Rousey actually we will because she's not AW um, very often. Go female. Who else is pretty good that we can put in this match? Amy Dumas, we'll put Lisa in there. She's probably not very good actually. Oh no, we won't put Amy Dumas in there. Put Britt Baker in there, Jamie Hayter, and uh, we've already got we've already put the honor in there. Who else? Who else can we put in here? Julia Hart. There we go. Sorted. Ah, Tony Storm. We can't put in. She's got a broken leg. So who do we put in there instead of her? Mariah May, which actually would be in storyline. The, the the thing if Tony Storm was injured, obviously I know they've recently done the the split up, but it's probably what would happen. Um, yeah, women's heavyweight. I'm going to retain it for now, and then what we'll do now is we'll just do four way tag. Male tag team. So we've got Aussie Open, FTR, uh, Lucha Brothers. It lets me do it. Stupid mouse pad. There we go. And then um, we've got a few options. We've got beer money. Not beer money, beer, bear country, God's sake. Premier athletes, Gates of Agony, Spanish announced tournament with boys, infantry, Second City Saints 2, because I brought in A Steel as a road agent, uh, varsity athletes, and the work horsemen. I'm going to put the work horsemen in there. Give them a little bit of rub with the other tag teams. And then we'll do. Still the show, open match, all that match. Oh yeah, um, well FTR retain them. Like so that's that, right? Okay, change to eighteen. Fine, just I'll deal with it. I'll, I'll accept it what it is um right just trying to figure out what to do next now mm. sod it might as well just do another tag team let's see let's see how, how good the other tag teams are so we've got beer country gates of agony and then we've got the infantry in there and the varsity athletes. Okay, so we'll just knock that down to 15. Like so. Um, one of them needs to be a technical masterclass. We can't, we could do it that one, couldn't we? Highly technical board, this can be a real good way of keeping the crowd engaged and not overly rounded at the time. This might backfire up and that as a technical masterclass, but we'll see. Right. 
So, uh, Mickey James won the first pre-show match. Um, how did Mickey James do? Mickey James. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, she only got a 34. Uh, Mom, Momo Wanatabe got a 45. She was probably the best worker out of the lot. Maserati is absolutely rubbish. Right. So, in the other pre-show match, we have Red Velvet won. I got a 32 rating for that match. The standout oh, worst performer was Reba Hardy with 12. Uh, the best performer was Paige Van Zandt with 35, which is interesting. Um, Zeddy have got a 30. Uh, and then the other pre-show match, Shauna Reed won, got a 35 rating. Teal Piper is terrible. Um, so is Shauna Reed, unfortunately. Sarai had a 53, so that's good. Santana, Santana Garrett had a 40. Uh, Sarai, uh, no. Right, so that's that one done. And the four-way tag team match, Gates of Agony won. Got a, that got a 34 rating. No real standout performer. Josh Wood, 38, I suppose, best out of the bag bunch. And the other tag team match, FTR retained the title. has got a 54 rating. Dax Harwood with a 56, Tasha Wheeler with a 52, Ray Phoenix with a 73, probably the best single performance um, so far in the two shows I've booked. Penta with a 59, JD Drake and Anthony Henry didn't do very well. Uh, the match was a little bit too short, and JD Drake was tired, so maybe don't put them in a long match next time. Obviously, I did get the warning, but I chose to ignore it. Then the main event got a 42. Athena retain, retained the title. Um, Mercedes Monet got a 54 rating. She was probably the standout performer. Julia Hart only with a 13. This database needs updating, man. It's terrible. Mariah May with a 17 as well. She's much better than what this database rates her as. Uh, it is what it is. Right. Improved our popularity in 48 regions. Got a 44 rating. 360 people turned up. They've already got a better crowd than we did on last show which isn't too bad to end the episode we'll just wait for this to quickly load up and we'll figure out um if there's any news worth mentioning and then i'll call it a day for this video the other videos will be slightly longer unfortunately i'm a bit um i don't have enough as much time as i would have liked today to record this video so it i would have been able to record this video if i had if i set it all up offline before i started it, it was kind of i did it on a whim i went I wasn't actually going to actually have a video come out um, today on Sunday. I was going to have Sunday as a day of rest, but I was bored and I thought, sod it, I'll just record. I'll start a new TW save. Um, 10,689 people turned up for that one. Uh, right, let's have a look. So we're losing money because I'm getting everybody on written contracts thermal. So that's that, really. But anyway, right. Uh, let me just move this over like so. There we go. Very, very unedited, unedited I am. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. I hope you like the new series. Let me know in the comment section if you like it or don't. Um, let me know if you have any advice when it comes to booking Ring of Honor to get the best out of the wrestlers that I've got. I might have to change the product like I had to do with Fight Club Pro to get the best out of the wrestlers that I've got because I've got some incredibly talented wrestlers. They shouldn't be getting the low ratings that they're getting. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Uh, any advice is always appreciated. And I hope you give it a watch, give it a try. Uh, and then next episode will be a lot more my usual crisper type of thing, really. Um, it was just a bit all over the place today trying to set it all up. So, anyway, on that note, I'll be back tomorrow with another with a football manager video. But all the best. Enjoy. Your Sunday and come on England. <laughs>